Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some Aatrox in the mid lane. We're running Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Cut the Grass, Eyeball, and Sudden Impact. We're gonna go max AD. I'm gonna do a mix of like lethality and very high AD items. Just because Aatrox ultimate gives him a ton of extra AD too. So we can like almost one shot somebody with our Q. So I think for Mythic we're gonna do Eclipse. I would love to do Duskblade, but... Since I'm going to be building like full AD items, I'm going to be very squishy. So I could get popped by a Vagar ult before I could even damage someone. But from what I've learned from playing a bit of Aatrox is his Q's kind of weak early. But once I have like my first item, I'm very, very strong. It just like, it doesn't do a lot of damage until you have a bunch of points into it. At least to minions and stuff. So he's got biscuits and TP. I don't have that, so I need to be a little careful with the trades I take. Because even if I win the trade, I don't have that much healing. If I get like really far ahead, I do like a Dusk Blade, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen versus Vagar. Got his first strike. They have a pretty squishy team. Only these two might be difficult. But they've got three squishies. So if I kill one of them and get a reset on my ult, I can run through the whole team. But I think I'm going to do Eclipse into Ravenous Hydra. Ravenous Hydra gives the most AD, and then it's going to give me some, like, wave clear on my... Oh, yeah, they made his W do magic damage. I just noticed that. I have wave clear on my Q. Not bad. Oh, dodged his Q and his W. I think he has a flash here. I didn't even have my Q up. He does 50 damage to a minion. I'd rather just auto attack. Okay, now that he has no flash, next time I land a W on him, he's pretty much dead. Wait, what? Why didn't that pull him in? Guess we didn't need it anyway. What you doing? Oh. I think he flashed on the spell shield. If he would have waited an extra half second, we'd be fine. Yeah, so this matchup actually, it shouldn't be too bad. It's just once Vagar gets man items and stuff, and I actually have to deal with his cage, it's gonna be annoying. But when it's down, oh, I accidentally dashed. It's fine. Oh my god. Hey, never mind. I guess Aatrox does do a lot of damage early. I just I don't like Aatrox damage like level one to three. I feel like I do no damage when I play him early game. All right, we're gonna get a lot of kills. Maybe I will go Duskblade. Maybe I go Duskblade in late game if I'm throwing. I'll switch to like Eclipse or something. This Duskblade does seem really fun, and this guy doesn't seem too hard to deal with. I could pull it off. I don't want to get too close to that turret. Yeah, Ghostblade would give the most AD, but Duskblade gives like 20% extra damage or something when they're low. Where is it? Shut down. 18%. That's better than like the few extra AD the Ghostblade gives. They deserve only death. Whoops. Nice. That passive auto chunks. The only issue is it's not always up.
Also, even if Nocturne's not fit, if he ults in and fears me, I'm not going to really do that much damage, because he can also spell shield my Q. I need a base. I have 2,000 gold. But I just want to get a wave shoved in. And then base. Now we'll reset. So, I wanted to do CDR boots, but I'm going to complain about getting CC'd too much. I took tenacity in my runes, but I'm definitely going to need mercs. So, let's just get those out of the way now. I have double tenacity. Shouldn't be stunned for an hour. Bottling up so little CS. The boots are going to allow me to land my Q's a little bit easier too and chase people down. Oh, this guy's just dead, I think. Bonk. Scared to Q this cannon because it's not gonna die. Oh my god, I accidentally hit it. Aatrox's uh, E is also an auto reset. So you can auto and then E and get two autos off pretty quick. And it's not a set distance. You can actually do like a really tiny dash to get a faster auto reset. Which that's something I didn't know for a long time. An ally has been slain. I wanna go roam or fight Nocturne or something. I wanna try my ult. I don't even need to ult to kill Vagar. Uh, if Lux isn't showing, she's probably right here. Okay, they see. And down they go. That's a lot of damage. Oh, they're lane swapping. Mm, Darius might kill me. I gotta sneak by him here. Oh no. Wow, I didn't I don't think I hit a single Q on him and he still took a lot of damage. I was scared of getting dunked. Am I this? Or did I gaze into it? Oh, he flashed. Oh. Ignite! Outplayed! Outplayed! Get wrecked. Outskilled. That was a very skillful ignite. Darn, he spell shield. Oh, he gone. See a flash. Oh my god. Playing whack a mole. I don't know if they're gonna be able to deal with me. I'm just kind of scared though. Cause like. It always goes super well, and then all of a sudden, I might become useless. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I didn't take all ultimate or treasure. I forgot. I took I took eyeball sudden impact just so I could deal more damage. Oh, I have that dust blade. Dagar might flash army. It's all right, they can't FF for another five minutes. Alright, let's see what the Dusk Blade can do. The thing is, like, I'm not impossible to kill. I'm really hard to kill right now just because I'm so far ahead. Like, I'm two levels ahead of this guy. I'm four levels ahead of this guy.
Oh, that almost one shots the minions already. I think he has flash up. Oh my god. I don't have to do anything. Oh, I got you, bro. Oh, oh my god! Okay, actually, I need to die or else they're actually gonna have. <laughs> they already did 300 extra damage. Wait a second. Oh! I killed him in two Qs! I didn't think I would even get him there. I mean... Maybe I can actually get away with just going another lethality item. I didn't think I'd, like, steamroll them this hard. There I go. Like, lethality items aren't even that great on Aatrox. I mean, I want to go Edge of Night, but that's not going to give me the most damage. Edge of Night would be the best. I think Collectors is that great. I barely auto-attack. Brawlers... Good work. I think I'm going to go the Axiom Arc. Just because it gives the best stats and then the alt reset is going to be really nice too. And then we can go Ravenous Hydra. Shoujin's pretty good too. Oh, actually I might get a really grudge. Try to bait out his spell shield. Bow. Oh. I didn't even hit the middle. I might have one shot her there. Bow. Bow. This is kind of fun. Just bonking people with my Q. I think I can get him. Oh, he has no turret. He's dead. Oh, never mind. He's gone. I can see. You know what? Never mind. Oh, where's my dash? Oh. <laughs> Give him to the dog. He dead. Yeah, the problem with me doing this build is I'm actually going to get fed really easy early and then we'll never make it to our full build because if the game ends up going that far, I'm probably going to lose. Oh, yeah, what the? Oh, my God. Oh no! I don't farm him in base. He doesn't even know I'm right here. No, 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 not the R button. Oh wait, how did I out heal that? Okay, now I'm gonna die surely. The next person is gonna kill me. Ah, oh, darn! I made a mess. I th there's nothing I could have done. I just like. I gotta play this again. We'll play it again. Victory. Okay, we got game two. This time we're against an Aurelia. I thought it was a Kassadin, but apparently it's a Kassadin support. I guess he didn't want to lane against Aatrox. But I'm gonna have no mercy versus uh, Aurelia. I hate Aurelias. Even if you beat them, they still just get fed. But let's see, let's see if we get Duskblade and just one-shot their whole team. I mean, as 
long as she doesn't dash to every minion and start autoing me now. That was a good trade. Oh. The Q's a long cooldown. I mean, still not bad. She's gonna dash to this one. Just kidding. Yes! Does my passive auto heal me more if I hit a champion? Aurelia players try not to go all in. I just need level 2. Oh my god, she canceled an auto. That's so unlucky, dude. My attack speed's so slow that you could actually flash the auto. <laughs> that should have been a kill. I don't know if I can go the Dust Blade into this comp. Because, like, Aurelia is actually such a sweaty champ. I can't tell if the Aurelia is good or not because they all do the same thing and they all get super strong regardless of what happens in the lane. Like a Vagar, if I'm up five kills on a Vagar, he's not doing anything to me. If I'm up five kills on Aurelia, she's still gonna kill me when she gets Blade of the Rune King. Well, at least she didn't have Ignite. That's why she didn't all in me earlier. Like, look at this. Mickey Mouse champ. I mean, Aatrox is kind of 200 years, but not as much, not as bad as Aurelio Spaghetti-O. This champion always gives me a rough time. The thing is, I'm actually beating her still. That stops her from getting pulled. This. Hey, I forgot they have a new new too. Mumu's just waiting on the sidelines for them to, like, dive me or something, but they won't fully commit. Oh my god, imagine if that minion didn't walk right in front of my W, she'd be dead. Oh! Alright, we don't judge, we don't judge. He's helping me wave clear, he's helping me wave clear. Okay, the thing is, I've out-sustained Aurelia twice now. I basically almost killed her twice, and she TP'd back and healed. So, hopefully this wave crashes, and, and I don't have enough for lethality. I might have to do... I don't even have enough for triple sword. I do double sword and boot. I might do double sword boot. Yeah, I mean, Cassid and support... He actually might have a better chance of making it to level 16 down there than against me. Because if he was mid lane, I would have killed him 10 times before he hit level 6. We need to kill Aurelia, though. Aurelia's kind of rough for me to hit with my Q with all her dashes. Also, I know I know a new new gank's going to ruin everything. He's going to come out of nowhere. It's all right. I don't need to land the cues. I got auto attacks. Okay, my auto attacks actually did so much damage that fight. I did land some cues, but damn them autos. I really want to E to auto reset the turret so I get the plating, but I need the E to get away from Nunu. Cuz I don't know where Nunu is. Fuck it, I'm doing it. No, I, it's actually just better for me to die here. <laughs> I didn't know where Nunu was coming from. I mean, he got XP for it, which sucks, but at least he didn't get a kill. Can we get away with going Duskblade, guys? Can we do it? I'm going to try it. You know, if we lose the game because of it, whatever. I already got the first game. The first game was over once we had Duskblade. Surely the second game will be over by the time I get Duskblade. 
I might do. I'll do the ravenous second though over the axiom art maybe, unless unless I don't need the healing. Although I do really want the dragon, and I don't want Nunu -Nu to get it. Probably. Get it. Nope, not yet. I had a feeling she wasn't going to dash to that one. Flash away. Nimbus Cloak, flash away. We'll just go for her. What the? Bro, they need to take flash out of the game. She's going to go for this cannon. She's going to either E or W it. She's not going to let... Oh, it's going to go under her turret anyway. Well, at least they both don't have flash. Oh my god, okay. The damage the damage is in. I actually kind of like a drugs. <laughs> I'm actually kind of having fun playing this guy. I should have gave him another chance earlier. I feel like they buffed him a few times since I last played him, though. I can't. Aurelio Spaghettio is in route to mid lane. Oh, I'm two levels on her now. I could I could one v two her and Nunu. I know Nunu's gonna come from through here in like ten seconds when it snowballs up. So I need to just push the wave. Oh, he went top. All right, keep pushing. I mean, it's all fun in games till Aurelia finishes her Blade of the Ruin King. Right, couldn't have played that worse. I have an emotional support mummy. <laughs> All right, I'll just reset. I'm not gonna risk it, actually. I do got alt, though. I do got alt. I ain't letting Aurelio Spaghetti-O scale into Blade of the Ruin King, am I? See, look at that auto reset. If I do a mini dash. Come on, man. He has all. I just have to save my W for that. Or at least have a Q up. Okay, we got the dust blade. I'll go the dust blade again. YOLO. How's Alawi doing? Good. She's not fed. Scion should be able to match her all game. I mean, she beat Scion in fights, but like. Okay. How's the bottling doing? Casting Rush Boots. Okay, he's not gonna be scaling anytime soon unless he picks up kills. Kogma is 26 CS. We're fine. We're fine. Really, the only threat's gonna be Alawi and Aurelia. Oh, Nunu's 2 0. I mean, getting camped by Nunu is just a given. It always happens. Every time I'm against a Nunu, you're going to get ganked like 10, 10 times by Nunu. It just happens. Because after like 20 minutes, Nunu's going to be useless. At least he won't do damage. He's just CC. Ooh, that hit her. At least Amumu's always around. We can get him. We can get him. There we go. Big shutty.
Oh, wait, reset. Wait a second. This is my gift to Morpheus. I, I'm not going to risk it on him. If I give him shutdown, he actually can play the game. But Mumu needed to ult a little bit earlier that fight, though. He let Nunu... I thought he was going to cancel the Nunu ult with his ult, but he kind of let him charge it up a bit. Ooh, bleeding. Yeah, I want to do the dragon. It's just they're always around it. I don't know. Nunu could easily steal it. I kind of got a reset. Screw it. Yeah, see, they're here. There we go. If he fights this, I'm here. Oh, keep doing this, bro. Where's Aurelia? Did I make her quit? Was four the magic number? Is she a Jin main? He's not gonna give this up. Too easy. Damn, he fast. Nice. Fire Dragon's so good for me. Oh, I hit him. Uh, I really just died. Oh, I should have ignited him. Didn't hit. So close. I don't think this guy can kill me. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. He's dead. I got an assist on her. Seven hundred damage. Yeah, I mean, I knew he wouldn't be able to kill me. It's, he's a support Cassidy with boots. He doesn't ha have anything. <laughs> uh, oh, there's no plating. I'm kind of... Oh my gosh, who's that? Is that Aurelia? Yeah, it has to be. I know Cassidy in STP. Alright. I mean... I'll just do this. I mean, I might as well. I didn't think I was going to get this fed, but I'm pretty fed. The thing is, I'm one death away from Aurelia 1v5-ing. We stepping on eggshells here. Your team has destroyed a turret. The Cyan's actually winning. How did that third Q do 700 damage? Oh, just 25% more every time. I actually have a good amount of haste now. I'm not confident enough to dive her, though. It's because of her W. Skin it. I might go armor boots first then. Oh. I mean, if anything, I think Cassidy is going to end up healing me. Alright. I think we do... I mean, we could do prowlers. I don't know. I'm so squishy, though. The thing is, like, I could just wait for them to engage on my team. 
her. Oh, my auto did so much there. Spider monkey. It's everywhere. Little does she know I'm behind her. Oh. No. Not the perma CC. Oh, that's rough. At least Nunu got it. But why is Alawi there, man? Oh, and she's talking shit. What do you know? Aurelia players, man. I couldn't click on her because Alawi and Nunu are standing on top of her, so I couldn't ignite. I told you, man, Aurelia players, like, she's so upset that she's not automatically winning lane. He's a cuter minion. Like, why was Alawi there? Might be able to get her. Yeah, he's got her. At least got her flash. Oh, there she is. Nice. See how fast I died, though? I'm squishy. Nunu has eight kills. At least my ult's back up in 30 seconds. I got half the cooldown back. I gotta be careful and not die anymore, though. Because, like, this, this build is so risky. Like, if I just die every fight without hitting any Qs, I'm useless. Like, how did he just get that? The only peace I seek is death. I'm just going to wait back here. If I show, then they won't go in. Oh. All right. Aurelia is not happy. There it is. Like, I, I can't make an Aatrox video without them FFing 15. It's impossible on this champ. You either win or you lose. You win in 15 minutes or you lose. At least if you're playing in mid lethality. I'll give it to Amumu. He really tried his best this game. I think he landed a Q, though. Did 20k damage there. Here's our rune stats. I mean, at least we made it to two items this game. The Dusk Blade's pretty strong, though. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Peace.